Good morning. I'm having a very slow morning today, you guys, because yesterday Pilates kicked my butt and I was so insanely bloated after. I was trying to think like, if there was something specific that I ate that could have bloated me or was it the workout? It was wild, like painfully bloated. So I came home, showered, um, and then that was it. The day was done. So good morning. Now we're starting. I did wake up at 7.30, but I laid in bed and scrolled for quite a bit of time. So now we're starting our day. I'm gonna make my cacao latte. I have been adding this Laird Performance Mushroom Powder. It's a superfood to my cacao uh, latte, which is like a grown up hot chocolate. Dennis has been making it like this. He actually bought this. And I was telling him this morning, I'm like, uh, so I was telling Dennis that I've been having, oh, like sorry, my, I know you were filming. my sleep has been better in the last like week. And I was th trying to figure out what was I doing different. The only thing that I can think of is I started drinking this. These mushrooms are supposed to help with um, stress and uh, cognitive function. Oh, so. Look at this. Oh wow, it's like super frothy. So I'm gonna add a scoop of this, and it's about a teaspoon, and then a scoop of this. And by scoop, I mean a teaspoon. Sprinkle some cinnamon, add some hot water, dissolve it, and then add my milk or creamer. And this is the creamer that we like. I like Chobani and Silk, and it only has four grams of sugar. And this is the almond creamer. That's our little concoction. I'll show it to you guys once it's done. My cacao latte slash grown up hot chocolate is ready. It is so good, you guys. And the best thing is that you know it has benefits. It's good for you. The cow powder does have a little bit of caffeine, but it's an antioxidant. There's so many benefits to drinking cacao powder. So this has been our little morning routine. I first make this, I drink it, I sit outside for a bit. Normally, I'm by now it's 10 o'clock, I've already been showered at my desk, but I started my day so late today. It is my dad's birthday, and we were supposed to go to Nobu for his um, birthday lunch, but he was like, we don't need to do all that. We could just go to dinner. So I was a little bummed because I wanted to take him. I'll probably take him another day of the week when, because he also has his like doctor's appointment this morning and I think it was probably too much for him. So we are going to go to dinner. All the all the kids are going, we're taking him to dinner. So we're going to Din Tai because he really loves Din Tai. So we're still celebrating his birthday. I'm actually going to go and buy a cake. I'll probably go to Susie's and buy a cake. And then his gift came in. Anyway, his gift arrived and it is the Beast Blender. I told you guys yesterday that uh, my sister and I are gift team that. I'm taking him to Mexico City. So that's going to be part of his gift. But I to still give him something. And I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably just go get him a cake and take the cake with me to Din Tai. I think we should be able to cut it. I think they just charge a like cutting fee, like a slice per slice, I think so that we can have a cake and yeah so that kind of gives gave me the whole day so i was i was like all right fine i don't need to be ready early so let me just relax in bed for a bit because you guys like i said pilates kicked my butt i was like what is going on thank god i feel a lot better now and i'm not bloated anymore but it was like so bad it was so painful i'm going to sit outside for a little bit edit things that i need to post today and kind of get my day going good morning happy sunday i don't know if i am focused or it's focused on the steering wheel. I cannot tell, but good morning, happy Sunday. I am feeling so much better. I was so bloated, you guys. I don't know if it was because I had a tostada salad from Pollo Loco and it had pinto beans in there and I don't know if eating that and then going and doing a workout caused the bloating, but it was it was pretty bad. I did take my detox and de-bloat supplements from um js health which is the same company that i take my hair vitamins and i love them um and it helped a lot and then i also drank teas and it went away i think god because it was if you've ever been bloated i don't know if it was i mean it's being bloated and trapped gas the same thing because whatever it was painful but it's gone and i'm happy now we are on our way to pilates on a sunday i checked just randomly the class or the class schedule and there was an opening at 12 30 with my favorite instructor so i was like huh let me go do that right now so i put on my cute outfit this i'll put a picture here of the outfit in case i don't get to show you guys like full outfit because sometimes i forget it's from target this top and it is so soft it's obviously not a workout top but if you're smaller chested and you're not doing like a high intensity workout i mean it works because you know pilates is very like slow and you're not jumping and doing all kinds of things and it's so soft and so cute i think it was only like ten dollars and i love the black and white i think it looks so chic so i will link my whole outfit oh and this is from 30 years it's like a little bolero which is perfect because it's like a little chilly 
but not cold enough where you need like a hoodie or anything. And so you still get to show off the outfit, but you're warm. So I love that. But yeah, Dennis went to go run an errand. I'm gonna go to my Pilates class and then we're gonna go have dinner for Justin's birthday. Where I made reservations at Lavo because he loves Italian food. So we're gonna go have dinner there because he hasn't been there. So I thought that was like a good restaurant. Vibes are good, the food is good, the drinks are good. Dennis and I have been there once for dinner and it was delicious. So I'm like, that is the perfect spot to book his birthday reservation or his birthday dinner. So it's an early dinner. We're going like at 5.45 or is that like normal dinner? I feel like dinner's like for me, like seven, eight. That's kind of late actually. But anyway, we're going there and then that's it. That's all we have planned for today. It's pretty chill. Yesterday was my sister's birthday. I'm telling you guys, May is like the busiest month with birthdays. Yesterday was my sister's birthday. We went to Korean barbecue. And then it was just Isabella, my sister, and I. That was that. And then we went to Dintai for my dad's birthday. So we've just been celebrating birthdays the whole, since the last week of April, I have been celebrating birthdays, which is a blessing. And um, yeah, so that's what we did. I was still taking my dad to Nobu. I think I mentioned that to you guys. I'm still taking him, but I'm gonna wait for the weather to get a little bit better because it's been really chilly. This like May gloom, June, so we're not even in June yet, but I could just imagine how gloomy it's gonna be in June. The weather's just not weathering right now. Today is kind of nice though. It's not gloomy. It's a little chilly, but it's not gloomy. And you know, by the beach, it's a little bit chillier. So I'm like, let me just wait for it to get a little warmer and then for us to go. So we're doing that. We have a trip planned this month. Still have to book it, but it's planned. It's just, it's a lot of like, a lot of little things that we're doing and a lot of little things that are happening. A lot of great things. Very, very, very thankful to God for all his blessings and everything he just does and just so grateful you guys it's a good day today i'm gonna come home shower and get ready for our early dinner it's been a while that i've gone to pilates on a sunday or on a weekend obviously you guys know i stopped working out for a bit i just wasn't there like i didn't have the energy to go work out i could barely get through my days kind of took a break from working out and then i'm back and it's been a while that i have gone to a class on a weekend so i'm excited because it's my favorite instructor so it's gonna be a good day you guys we did it that class was so good i'm starting to feel my strength coming back which makes me so happy it was still a struggle like there were some workouts um I, there was some that i definitely needed to like take a few seconds and readjust um but overall great class i'm so happy i came we're gonna go to lala's to get a matcha i made a matcha this morning but it wasn't that good because i didn't have milk and i like my matchas with milk also, I got compliments on my top. The girl couldn't believe that it was from Target and that I only paid, like, I think it's like $10. Let me see how much it is. It is $8. I'm gonna, like I told you guys, I'll link it if you guys wanna grab it because it's so good and it's so soft. Uh, but we're gonna go to Lala's and then I was thinking of stopping at Sephora to uh, pick up the new Fenty foundation. I wanna try it out because I've heard great things about it. So I wanted to pick it up. And I think that's absolutely everything I need from Sephora. I don't need anything else. My, look, my hand is shaking. You guys see that? <laughs> that's how you know it was good when you have the Pilates shake. My leg and my my legs and my butt were like trembling. But good workout. High five. High five. <laughs> Stop it. Look at this dog. Ah, oh, so cute. We made it. You guys, the day is so beautiful today. Look at the mountains. We love it, like It is gorgeous. It's a little breezy, but it feels good, honestly. The way I was sweating in that class. Where are the little tortugas? Where are they? Oh, they're right there. I don't know if you guys can see them, but there's some right there. Well, wow, there's a lot. Let's see on this side. Wow, look at all of them right here, just chilling. So cute. Wow, there's so many turtles. Came to La La Land to get my iced matcha. <gasps> what in the... The viral cookie is available at La La Start on May 4th. Two classics, one delicious twist. Do I need to try this? Oh. Let's see if they have any new cool hats. Dennis likes these hats. He has this one, but I think he has it in green. I wonder if he would like this cream color. There's also this one. So I got a strawberry matcha. I already tried it. It is so yummy. 
I'm also starving because I haven't, I had only, what did I have this morning? Oh, I had a protein waffle um, and that's it and my matcha, but I'm so hungry. So I'm going to go to Sephora really quick and then I'm probably going to go somewhere to get something to eat. Just got off the phone with Dennis and we're actually going to meet somewhere to eat. Back from lunch and walking the boys. I actually forgot to vlog when Dennis and I were at lunch. We went to Sweet Butter Kitchen and I had a delicious salad. Dennis had French toast and chicken. And you guys, we have so many packages. Do you see that mountain of packages? So I thought I would open some up because I did buy some home stuff that I want to show you guys. And I want to see myself if I like it. I bought a frame for the bathroom, for the guest bathroom, because I feel like we're missing one more um, piece of art for, or like a frame for the bathroom. So I ordered this one. This was not the one. Okay, well I ordered this one, which is from um, Studio McGee collection. Do we like this? Yeah, it's okay. So this one might be going back. I thought it was, I don't like the frame. I feel like the frame looks cheap. So this one might be going back. Okay, well there's that. And then this, there's a giant one. This one I think is from Amazon. And this one I ordered for my little reading now because I feel like I need, where's, where are my scissors? I literally just had them. And that's the thing with ordering things online. You just don't know. Whoa. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, that's pretty. It's a little green, but let me hold it up. Okay, so this is the area that I'm thinking. It's the perfect size too. You're asking them or me? You. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. You and them. You, you want to see it? Oh my god. Okay, we had to put the unboxing on hold. Shower and start getting ready. So I'm going to do my makeup and I thought I would show you guys how I've been doing my makeup lately. I did just do my skincare, added some little brow wax to my brows and my Dalba spray because I love it. So that's what has my skin looking so glowy. And now I'm going to add some of the Charlotte Tilbury flawless airbrush flawless flawless filter what is this yeah hollywood flawless filter and that's just gonna make the skin even glowier because you guys i love when my skin looks glowy and i just powder wherever it looks too glowy or wherever i get oily i will link all the products that i use down below add that and i'm gonna do this is the makeup that i do when i want more of like glam not so natural even though I, I still feel like it's natural which is why i love it okay now with my nars creamy concealer i'm going to kind of under paint and color correct so that's just gonna go in those areas and i have to get ready so fast because we don't have a lot of time so i do this before i apply my foundation i don't know if i told you guys but we're going to I think I did. I think I mentioned it. We're going to Lavo. I'm actually shocked that I found reservations or that we were able to get reservations because I feel like every time I've tried to get reservations there, it's always booked. It's like one of those restaurants in LA that's... What's going on with this hand? It's like one of those restaurants in LA that's always... They're always booked. So that's blended. And now for foundation, this has been my go-to. It's the Superstay from Maybelline, the skin tint. And I have two shades because one is like my really tan shade or my tan shade. And then this is like my non-tan shade. And right now, because I do have a tan, but it's not as dark as it was. I'm just going to mix both like a drop of 220 or like my tan shade. And then 180 is my regular daily shade. So I'm just going to do a little drop of that. And just This, I would say, is like a dupe to the Makeup by Mario Foundation. It is so good. Where is my brush? Okay. I'm just going to mix these and then just dot it everywhere it has the most beautiful finish it has it's a skin tint but it has great coverage you can build it up like it's still your it's like your skin but better but you can definitely build up i have been loving it and it reminds me a lot of the makeup by mario foundation so if you guys are looking for a good drugstore this maybelline one is so good i'm still sipping on my matcha i don't know about you guys but it takes me hours to finish a drink unless dennis and i share it that's why you guys always see us share a drink because i don't it just it's very rare that i finish a whole drink now for bronzer my favorite bronzer makeup by mario i love how easy it blends i love the color this is in medium 
And because I don't like doing anything to my eyes, it is very rare that I use eyeshadow. I just always put bronzer on my lid and it works. And this brush, you guys, is so good. It is the Patrick Ta um, bronzer, I think, or contour brush. Do you guys see how effortless and easy and fast it blends out the makeup? And you just tap, tap and push out and it just blends it out. Does, it literally does all the work for you. And once we're done blending the bronzer, I turn the brush around and on the other side, I use this side to blend out the bronzer on my lid as an eyeshadow and I do the same. I just press and kind of pull out. It's my favorite way to do my eyes. Okay, and now this is also another good brush from Patrick Ta. It's the contour nose contour brush. I used to be so intimidated to do nose contour because I felt like I just wouldn't do it right. This brush has been my savior. It has made no, my, doing my nose contour so easy. Also, another little trick, I literally do not care where the bronzer goes because I clean it up with concealer. Once I'm done with the bronzer, then I go in with concealer, put some on the tip of my nose and then here and then on the sides and it just cleans it up. So you can get messy with your nose contour, but just clean it up with the concealer and I let that sit for a while. And now we move on to blush, Patrick Ta. Clearly, I love Patrick Ta products. Um, for blush, we're going to go in with this one. I think she's that girl. Yep. And going with, this is a Sephora brush. And I place my br blush really high. And then just tap right in this area. This is another thing that I don't worry so much about it getting messy in this area because I clean it up with concealer. I go in again with concealer. And by doing the concealer after the blush, it just really softens up the blush. And I love the way that it looks. And then sometimes when I add the concealer, it's like, wait, I lost a little too much of my blush, but I'm always gonna go back with the cream anyway. Perfect. I think I'm gonna do lashes because you know, it's a special day. My go-to mascara has been the YSL Lash Clash. They have it in regular and waterproof. I actually changed my mind. I'm not gonna do lashes so i just kind of packed on the mascara and then a little bit of highlight in the inner corner i don't have my favorite lip balm which is the pharmacy one i will link it for you guys it is so good it's in my bag but i don't feel like grabbing it so actually i'm gonna have to go grab it because i need to grab my lipstick before i do that i'm going to set my under eyes this is the laura mercier pressed translucent powder it's new and then just set the under eye this is the lip balm that i'm telling you guys about it's the pharmacy uh lip smoothie so this is in pear kiwi and it smells delicious but aside from it smelling delicious it really hydrates the lips it like gets rid of the wrinkles on the lips if you don't have you know how uh, sometimes when you have lip filler your lips look or are super smooth but if you don't have them you have like natural wrinkles the uh, lip smoothie helps get rid of the wrinkles I love to apply that before I start doing my makeup. For lip liner, this is Smashbox in medium brown. It is creamy, doesn't dry you out, and it lasts long. I need to sharpen this before I leave. And then for lipstick, Brave from Too Faced. And I just kind of tap. Love this lip combo. And then on top, my nude sticks. You guys see how glowy and juicy? And this is the makeup, you guys. This is the makeup that I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, and I love it. I think it looks natural um it looks pretty i'm gonna clean up with the foundation brush just so that it, i don't do such a harsh line and that's it time to get dressed this is the outfit i'm gonna wear this really cute yellow cardigan from gap and my jeans these are the loose ones whenever i do something tight on top i always like to do loose jeans just because that's kind of how you balance out an outfit and then gold jewelry i still don't know what bag i'm gonna do but this is outfit. okay i wanted to show you guys my outfit so this is a little cardigan from Gap, love the color. I paired it with this red bag from Zara. I have it linked. And these are my favorite like loose jeans. I love the way they look. They're from Abercrombie. I'll also link them. And I just got this gold bangle um, at J. Crew. And you guys, it is so good. I have a very small wrist. So every time I find bangles like this, they always just slide off my um, hand because they're so wide. And this one's like the perfect with so link that as well everything will be linked shoes are shuts they are a little bit old but i think they still have them and i think they're on sale so they're really cute let me show you guys they kind of like tie up and that's the outfit we are ready for dinner hello welcome back to the vlog you guys 
I got my hair blow dried. They came to the house and blow dried my hair, which was nice. I did a house call just because I have a lot of filming to do today. And um, I didn't have time to go to dry bar. So, the hair is blow dried. I'm already showered. I already did my skincare. I'm about to film a drugstore makeup look, like just drugstore products. Nothing specific, like not a specific look, just using drugstore products. Also, I sprained my wrist yesterday at Pilates. It hurts so bad. Like I can move it for the most part. I can move it pretty good, but if I go, it's better. It's a lot better. I could not like move my hand more than this because it hurt. Dennis was gonna go get me like a brace for my wrist. And at first in the morning, I was like, yeah, can you go get it? so that I can like do things without it hurting. But as I was doing things, I noticed that as I was moving it, it was hurting less. So now it hurts like, I would say like 30%, so it's almost better. But I had a Pilates class scheduled for 6.30 today and I had to cancel it because I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do any of the arm workout. I'm doing a lot better, which I'm happy. Also, it was a good Mel day. I got my new, New Balance 9060. You guys, I'm obsessed with these. I love my other ones too, but those are more cool tone. And these are white with this like 90s green. They're so cute. Let me show you guys. It was Mel Day, so I've been opening boxes. I am so obsessed with these. I will link them for you guys. I get the four and a half, uh, women's four, no, women's four, men's five and a half, and they fit perfect. And they're literally the most comfortable sneaker you will ever wear. And I like how chunky they are. And I think this colorway is gonna go great with a lot more colors than my other one. I still love my other colorway too. And then I'm wearing this top, which is a Skims dupe that I found at Target. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't seen this all over TikTok because it is the closest thing to a Skims dupe that I have found. It's soft, it's stretchy, it hugs the body. I'm not even wearing a bra. Like it is so good. It comes in four different colors and it's like $20. So I will also link this for you guys. Make sure you guys um, follow me on LTK and subscribe because I link a ton of stuff there. And whenever you see me wearing something on videos, it's gonna be linked on my LTK. So always check the description box. Good morning, I think I'm blurry. I think that's better. I tried putting these little suction cups on my camera and it didn't work. And now I don't have the little sticky. Good morning, we are on our way to the mall. It is 10 in the morning. There's nothing more elite than getting to the mall when it opens, because there's nobody there. I have a made wall return slash exchange that I need to make. There's some stuff that I really liked but didn't fit me right. So I'm gonna, hopefully they have them in store and I can exchange them because I did order all of this online. Um, I did order some made wall sandals that I absolutely loved. I will, if I remember, I always say, I'm gonna show you guys. And then when I'm editing, I'm like, I never showed them. So hopefully if I remember when I get home, I will show you those sandals because they are such a perfect sandal for summer. You can wear them with skirts, you can wear them with shorts, you can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with dresses with trousers there's so many ways to style that sandal and it's a kid in heel so it's really short but it's like an it's an elevated look instead of wearing just like a thong sandal they are a little bit of an investment um, but they are leather and they're comfortable and they look so nice and i feel like it's something that you're gonna have for a very long time it's like a staple piece okay i stopped at madewell and i'm gonna try these things on look at the screen you guys it looks a lot more bright blue on screen but it's like this periwinkle it's so beautiful these white linen pants because i don't have any white ones and these are just like a staple i actually ordered these online but i ordered them in a four and they were too big so i'm gonna try the two and then these look cute there are four though so they might be kind of big it's so weird like in these a four is too big and then i ordered a 25 in denim and they were too big so i'm gonna go up to a 26 and see if that fits Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell, but these are actually really cute. Let me see. But they're so long on me. Sure, girl problems, but I love the way they fit in the waist. But I just, I'm gonna have to get them altered and that's gonna be like, they're already kind of pricey. So I'm like, and I still have to pay to get them altered. Hmm, I don't know, but I really like them. This is the skirt and it's so cute, you guys. <gasps> Definitely taking this. I love this. Like, imagine this with a cute top. So cute. Into free people, and I found the most gorgeous dress for our upcoming trip. But it's a large. But the girls had to try it on because it kind of runs, like, the sizing is a little bit weird. So I'm going to try it on. But look at the back. It has a really pretty low back. It's 
gorgeous. It is so beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna try it on. And then I also found these pieces. I thought this was cute. <laughs> little seashells and then some rompers okay we finished with them all and now i'm over at whole foods because i need to get a few things i actually need a cart and i'm gonna grab some stuff to make caldo de pollo and i like to come here because they have to get all my organic stuff especially when i'm making a caldo all right grocery run was a success i actually picked up a green juice at the juice bar inside whole foods it has cucumber celery um parsley kale apple and ginger i think so i'm pretty sure it's going to be a serious one mm, that's delicious i think it's the apple i asked her i'm like is it at least a little sweet because it does have apples she's like yeah the apples make it sweet but i didn't think it was gonna be this sweet oh wow it's but a nice I was so thirsty. I swear it was like a like a marathon inside um, the dressing rooms when you're trying clothes on, changes, sweating at free people. But we did find some cute stuff. Okay, back home. I'm going to show you guys a little quick haul of what I picked up. Got some, everything is for the caldo de pollo. I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm making caldo de pollo. Green beans, zucchini. Look at how little these zucchinis are, but they're organic. So I'm like, they're actually really cute. Potatoes, corn. I got these because I think they're in season. Um, carrots, serranos, because I can never make a caldo and not have serranos, garlic. Picked up another one of our Momofuku Chili Crunch because we're out. Honey crisp apples um, and these blackberries and celery. Also some English muffins and then obviously organic chicken, but that's already in the fridge. And this is my little Whole Foods haul. All right, caldo is done, you guys. I didn't show the whole process because I feel like I've filmed that many times, but there's zucchini, there's potato, there's calabacita, there's corn. Uh, green beans and obviously lots of chicken so what I do is I put the chicken in with the bone but then I shred it or not shred it but like take it off the bone and then serve it like that I don't serve it with the bone I just think it's easier to eat and this is what we're having for lunch don't look at that that looks weird 